Hello student, so hope you all are fine. So I am a science teacher, so today for class 5 from this book we are going to do the chapter 3 that is movement and breathing of animals, chapter 3. So we are going to start with this chapter with the explanation. So let's start this chapter, okay. The chapter name is saying movements and breathing of animals. If you see the chapter name, it is saying the movement, how the animals movements and the breathing of the animals, how the animals do the breathing. Okay, let's start. In the first, the topic is movement in animals. The first one is movement in animals. Okay, what it is saying? Animal move from one place to another in search of food, shelter, and a safe place for their offspring. Animals on land, air, and water move in different ways. They have different body parts or limbs that enables them to move from one place to the other. Here in the topic, it is telling us about how the animals move from one place to another in search of food, shelter and safe place for their offspring. Here offspring means for the babies. Animals on land, air and water move in different ways. So animals live in land, water and air. They move in different ways. The movement of the animals are different. They have different body parts or limbs. They have different body parts and limbs. Depending on the animal who lives on the land, air and water, they have different parts of limbs and enable them to move from one place to another. It enables them to move from one place to another. Now we are going to learn here and going to explain you animals on land and their movement. Now the animals who are in the, on the land and their how they do the they do their movement animals on the land have four limbs whichever animals leaves on the land they have four limbs the two in the front are called four limbs and the two at the back are called hind limbs so animals the animals who lives on the land lives on the land what it is saying they have four limbs among the four limbs the two in the front the two limbs are in the front and they are called four limbs and the two at the back are called hind limbs the front one is called the front one what it is called four limbs and the back one is called what it is called hind limbs okay this is here now the next line some animals use all the four limbs to run hop or walk while some of use their limbs to swim or burrow so see here the four they have the four limbs i told you the animals have four limbs it is saying the four limbs some of the animals use the four limbs to run hop to hop okay or walk for walking while some use their limbs to swim this use the limbs to swim or borrow borrow means to dig okay if you see the example of borrow the rabbit they borrow you know that they borrow okay a horse now it is saying a horse uses its four limbs for galloping the galloping you have seen the horse how they run okay so the horse used the four limbs for gloping a rabbit has padded toe for running and large hind limb for hopping now example is given here a rabbit has padded toe it has padded toe in his hand it is padded toes for running and large hind limbs for hopping I have already told the land animals have four limbs front and back in the front the rabbit the front one the 
फोर लिम्स इज पैडेड फॉर रनिंग एंड द हिंद लिम is for hopping in the rabbit a cheetah is able to run with a speed of 70 miles per hour with the help of its limb here example is given of cheetah cheetah is able to run with a speed 70 miles per hour in one hour it runs his running speed is 70 miles with the help of its limb okay now see here in this box no more it is given so i am going to explain this one the largest living land animal in the bull africa elephant which is about 12 feet tall and giraffe is the tallest land animal with the height of 19 feet so here in this no more it is given about the largest living land animal the largest living land animal is the bull african elephant the bull african elephant is the largest living land animal which is about 12 feet the height of the elephant is 12 feet tall and giraffe is the tallest land animal the giraffe which is the tallest land animal giraffe is the tallest land animal with the height of 19 feet the height of the giraffe is 19 feet now let's go to the next topic so the next topic is animal in water and their movements and the next topic is animal in water and their movement just now we have studied about the movement of animals on the land now we'll study the animals in water and their movement okay now see here animals in water ducks have webbed feet to move around in water they have webbed feet you have seen the feet of the duck it is webbed feet to move around in water they do not have nerves in their feet so they cannot feel when water is cold what it is say in their feet they do not have nerves in their feet so they cannot feel when water is cold so the whenever the water the duck goes inside the water if the water is very cold also they don't feel the cold because they don't have nerves in their feet frog also have webbed feet to swim but they also have hind limb to jump on the land so frog has also webbed feet but to swim but what it is saying they also have hind limbs to jump the back one which we call hind limbs to jump on the land fish have fins one pair in the front and one pair at the back to move in water what it is saying the fish have fins one pair in the front in the fish if you see the fins if you see fish if you see the fish they have one pair here and one pair at the back the fins okay which helps them one pair at the back to move in the water to move in the water the unpaired fins has the fish to maintain balance and tail fins help in changing the direction in water so after that they have the fin it is saying it helps them to move in the water and it is saying the unpaired unpaired fin helps the fish to maintain balance it helps the fish to maintain the balance in the water and the tail the tail fins helps in changing the direction in water it helps the fish to change the direction in water now there is another the octopus moves around with the help of its strong tentacle cell the octopus have the strong tentacle cell which helps it to move around the water now we are going to do here it is saying the turtles use their four padded limbs to swim where as penguin use their two four limbs to push water and swim now it is saying turtles turtles use their four padded limbs they have the turtles have the four padded limbs 
to swim whereas the penguins use their two four limbs to push water they use their four limbs the front four limbs to push the water and swim so this is in this paragraph it has explained how the animals in the water do their movement okay again we have here now in the next page we have about insects now let's go and see the movement of insects now insects have six legs what did you say insects have six legs okay insects have six legs some insects only crawl while some are able to crawl hop and fly so here it is saying insects have six legs so in the group of that insects if we see the insects some can crawl some can crawl means walk we can say while some are able to crawl as well as they hop and fly they can crawl also they can hop also and they can fly also and beetles beet bugs leech and cockroach crawls these are the examples of the insect which crawls you have seen the ant they crawl that means they walk okay some insect have a pair of wings to fly like butterfly honey bee mosquito dragonfly grasshopper so if you see here some insects they have wings they have pair of wings pair of wings with the help of that pair of wings they fly and the examples are here butterfly honey bee mosquito dragonfly grasshoppers different insects which have the pair of wings they can fly okay after that a grasshopper uses its hind limbs for hopping and flying wings to fly so here i have already told in the previous sentence that what it was saying some insects they can crawl also some insects can hop also and some insects can fly also so here the example of grasshoppers tells that it has hind limbs its hind limbs used for hopping and flying for wings it uses its wings to fly and hind limbs for hopping the wings of insects are different from that of birds the wings the insect suppose this is an insect the wings which the insects have the wings which the insects have the wings which the insects have it's totally different it is saying totally different it is different from that of birds which the birds have the wings of insects are colored and have tiny scales on them so this wings of the insects are colored and they have tiny scales they have tiny scales on them they have tiny scales on them now this is how we have we have gone through how the insects do their movement they have the six legs okay they can crawl or some of the insects can crawl hop as well as they can fly the examples are given here with the insect which of them can crawl fly okay now let's go to the next now birds okay now birds we are going to study about birds birds the bones of birds are light and so hollow what it is saying the bones of the birds are light it is in light and hollow suppose this is the bone of a bird okay suppose it is a bone of any bird it is light means it is light you know that light means and it is hollow okay inside there is nothing they have a boat shaped body and wings attached to their breast bone with strong chest muscle okay what it is saying the shape of the body of the bird is boat shaped it is in a boat shape if you see the bird if you see a bird suppose this is a bird okay suppose this is a bird okay so if you see it is in a shape of a boat shape 
suppose it is in a shape of a it is saying boat shaped and wings it has a wings attached to their breast bone it is attached to their breast bone it is attached to their breast bone and strong chest muscle it is attached to their strong chest muscle if you see this if i make this image like this see i will make this image here suppose this is the bird okay suppose this is the bird okay so its wings are here suppose okay i'm making a rough image here for you okay suppose this is the wing so it is saying it is in a boat shape okay and it has wings and this wings are attached to their breast bone this is the chest if you see the chest or the breast bone of the bird and it is attached to the strong chest muscle this is how the wings of the birds are attached they have feathers to keep them warm the birds have feathers they have feathers to keep them warm they use their feet to hop and move the feet which they have the feet which they have they use this feet for hopping and move however birds like emu penguin and ostrich use their feet to walk and run okay see here it is here it is saying that however the birds like emu penguin and ostrich use their feet they use their feet to walk and to run okay to walk and run they are flightless bird and not able to fly they are flightless bird and they are not able to fly okay now let's go to the next topic we are go after birds we have reptiles now we are going to study about the reptiles okay now reptiles the cold blooded animals like snakes lizard crocodile turtle and tortoise are distinguished by their dry scaly skin okay the cold blooded animals like snake it is saying lizard okay crocodiles turtles and tortoise are distinguished by their dry scaly skin these reptiles have limbs to move but they crawl on their bellies on land to lay eggs the limbs of a turtle act like flippers and enable them to paddle through waters now see here this animals which i told you just now this reptiles have limbs they have limbs to move they use the limbs to move but they crawl but they crawl on their bellies they crawl on their bellies on land to lay eggs the limbs of a turtle acts like flippers the limbs they acts like a flipper and enable them to paddle through the water the limbs of a turtle if you see it acts like a flipper and they use as a flipper and enable them to paddle through water a reptile that does not have limb is snake a reptile the snake it does not have limbs the snake does not have limbs snake have scales or plates on the underside of their bodies which are attached to their ribs okay what it's saying the skin snakes have scales they have scales or plates on the underside on the underside of their bodies which are attached to their ribs which are attached to their ribs this plates acts like feet and ribs acts like legs and able and in, enables the snake to move so what i told you here the snake they don't have limbs they have scales and plates on their under side of their bodies which are attached to their ribs this plates this plates which is attached to their body acts like feet it acts like feet and ribs acts like legs the ribs acts like legs and able enables the snake to move snake 
have strong muscles and as they move forward or backward their scale pushes against the ground so the snake have strong muscles they have strong muscles and and as they move or backward their scale pushes against the ground the scales pushes against the ground if you, if you have seen a snake okay suppose this is the snake okay this is snake so when they move forward and backward due to their strong muscles it helps them to move forward and backward the scales push against the ground because of the scales a snake find it difficult to move on a smooth surface but move easily on a rough ground okay because of the scales which they have attached to their body they feel difficult to move on a smooth surface because it gets stuck in smooth surface but moves easily but moves easily on a rough ground they move easily on the rough ground okay now we are going to deal with now what we have here humans are higher from a form of animals we humans we humans are higher form of animals we are higher form of animals who use their feet to balance and stand erect we use our feet to balance and stand erect the leg help us to walk while each hand help us to hold things as their hands have four fingers and a thumb to form grip so what it is saying we humans are strong, higher from animals we are higher from the animals how because we have with our feet we can balance and stand straight we can with our feet see yeah with our feet we can stand straight we use our leg to walk we use our leg to walk and each hand each hand help of holding things so we have the holding things have how many fingers we have four fingers and one thumb with a with this we can hold things okay and have a grip we have a grip humans have a high developed brain we have a high developed brain to think which have helped him to go to space so we have high developed brain with this high developed brain brain we humans have achieved and helped to go to space manufacture robots we know that you know all you know that we have manufactured robots computers and complex machines so we have many machines we are using as for example if we see a mobile it has been developed by we humans so many things by our this developed brain we make the technical advancement made by human have helped them to manufacture robotic arms for surgery which is a great achievement in medical history so with this our developed brain it is saying the technical advancement of a made by our hum we human have made a manufactured a robotic arm a robotic arm for surgery if you see in nowadays so many big surgeries there are robotic arms are there which help us during the surgery which helps the doctor during the surgery so this all is done by we humans with our development develop brain now breathing now we are going to do so this is was all about the movement of animals till we human now we are going to deal with breathing in animals breathing in animals now breathing in animals okay all living beings need air to breathe we all living beings need air to breathe the oxygen that the living beings breathe in burn the food in the body to release energy the oxygen that we breathe in what in it burns the food in the body to release energy it helps to carry out various activities by them the energy which is burned and it is released energy with the help of the oxygen in our body what it does it carries various activity by them 
there are different organs for breathing in different animals so different organs are there in different animals for breathing there are different organs for breathing in different animals okay now let's go first we have land animals the animal on land breathe through their lungs the animal who lives on the land they breathe through their lungs as we human also have lungs we use our lung for breathing the air enters the lungs through the windpipe the lungs have blood vessels the blood take in the oxygen and supplies it to all the part of the body through the blood vessels the carbon dioxide is released in the into the lungs from the blood which is then inhaled out of the body through lungs so see here what happens this is our mouth so what we do the air enters the lung from here we breathe the air enters the lungs through our windpipe this is our windpipe windpipe the lungs have blood vessels the lungs which they have blood vessels if you see here in this image also it is given here okay about the mouth and this is the windpipe and this is the lungs these two are the lungs okay now see here they have the blood vessels the lung the blood takes in the oxygen the blood takes in the oxygen and supplies it to all the parts of the body the oxygen is taken and it is supplied to the all parts of the body body through the blood vessels through the blood vessels the carbon dioxide is released into the lungs from the blood okay now after that the carbon dioxide is released into the lungs from the blood which is then in held out of the body through lungs okay it is thrown out of our body through the lungs we take the oxygen we take out carbon dioxide so this is how the land animals breathe now the water animals how the water animals breathe okay water animals the aquatic animals takes in the dissolved oxygen from water water animals take the oxygen from the dissolved water in the water while the land animals take it from the air we take it from the air while the aquatic animals they take the oxygen from the water fish crab oysters and tadpole breathe through their gills so here it is saying fish crab oysters and tadpole breathe through their gills they have gills the gills have blood vessels here they have blood vessels as we humans have the land animals have lungs the fish crab the aquatic animals here the fish crab oyster and tadpoles they have gills and they in the gills they have blood vessels the gills absorb the oxygen dissolved in water they absorb the oxygen which is dissolved in water and release carbon dioxide the tadpole breathe through its gills in water but an adult frog breathe through its lungs on land and through it moist skin in water so see here the tadpole okay the tadpole breathe through its gills in water but an adult frog it is saying the adult frog the frog when the tadpole reaches to the adult frog breathe through its lungs it has lungs on land it breathe through a lungs on land and through its moist through its moist skin in water through its moist skin in water whales and dolphins and water animals but, but they are mammals mammals see here whale dolphin are water animals they are also water animals but they are in a group of mammals they have lungs and they come to the surface of water to inhale oxygen but they exhale carbon dioxide through their nostril in the water so see i've told that whale and dolphin they all are mammals they have lungs they come to the surface of water in inhale oxygen but they exhale carbon dioxide through their nose trill they have nose trill okay now we have insects insects have holes on their body 
what they have insects have hole on their bodies called spiracles which helps them to breathe what they have insects have spiracles which helps them to breathe in insect they breathe from their spiracles they have a network of eight tubes called trans which run across the whole body air passes through this network of tubes and whole body of the insects so they have a spiracles in the body okay with the help of that they breathe the insect have the breath and it is in a network forming in the body in a network form in the body and it passes all the part of their body now after insects reptiles now we'll we are going to know about how the reptiles how the reptiles breathe now reptiles have lungs which helps them to breathe reptiles also have lungs which which helps them to breathe they have also lungs left types have also lungs okay now let's go to birds now we have birds birds also have lungs here birds also have lungs they take in oxygen through the hole on the upper portion of their beak and give out carbon dioxide how the bird breathe it is saying the birds have lungs they have also have they have also have lungs they take in oxygen through the hole they take in oxygen through the hole on the upper portion of their beak they have beak at their beak if you see the birds beak there is a small hole here in the birds beak there is a small small hole with the help of this hole they take in the oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide so this is how the animals move breathe in this chapter is been explained okay now after explaining this chapter let's go to the exercise okay so the explanation part we have completed for the chapter now let's go to the exercise so the first exercise we have in the page number 30 after completing the chapter we have objective type questions so in objective type first we have write true and false correct the incorrect statement okay we have to write true and false okay from question one okay i am going to do question one first okay now see here snake have weak muscles it is saying snake have weak muscles it is true or false so I'll, I'll, as i have explained snake have strong muscles we don't have weak muscles so it is false number one a is false number one a is false okay now the next one we have the aquatic the the sorry the aquatic animals take in oxygen from air aquatic animals take in oxygen from air so it is true or false aquatic animals if you see here some animals take the oxygen from a so b is true okay now c insects have small holes on the body called tresses do insects have small hole in the bodies no what was there the insect have the small holes called spiracles their holes spiracles so it is false okay now number d penguins and ostis are fly lace bird what it is saying penguin and ostis are flight lace birds is it true or false yes penguin and ostis they can't fly so it is true okay the last one all insects fly do all insects fly no as i have explained you in the chapter sub insects can only crawl so it is false okay now let's go to the next question we have mass the column 
सो मैज द कलम वी हैव ओके सो मैज द कलम ओके सो इन द फर्स्ट वी हैव लैंड एनिमल्स ओके सो लैंड एनिमल्स वॉट दे हैव यर इन द कॉलम इट इज गिवन नंबर टू आई एम डूइंग यर लैंड एनिमल्स इफ यू सी इन द कॉलम बी दे आर वेव फीट लेग्स लिम स्केल्स टेंसिल्स सो नंबर ए वॉट विल द आंसर बी फॉर नंबर ए इट इज लैंड एनिमल्स द आंसर विल बी लिम्स फॉर मैज द कॉलम ओके नंबर टू नाउ द नेक्स्ट ऑक्टूपस ऑक्टूपस फॉर ऑक्टूपस इफ यू सी यर फ्रॉम द कॉलम बी द आंसर इज वन द लिम वॉज इन फोर ओके नाउ फॉर बी ऑक्टूपस द आंसर इज वन टेन यस ओके नाउ नंबर सी कॉक्रोच नाउ फॉर कॉक्रोच वॉट दे हैव If you see your uh, scales, legs, now webbed feet is left. So the cockroaches have legs. They have legs, which is in three. Number D now. Number D, frog. What the frogs have? Frogs, what they have? They have webbed feet. So webbed feet is in number two. It is webbed feet. Okay. now e e we have snakes so the last one which is left the snakes have in column b if you see they have scales it is in 5 yes they have scales so this is the match the column for 2 okay now in number 3 we have give one word answer for the following we have to give one word answer okay now see i am reading the question The first one is this helps dog to move in the water. What helps the dog dog to move in the water? What it helps? It was with feet. Okay, it was with feet helps the dog to move in the water. Number B question it is saying this body part helps a rabbit to run. Which body parts helps the rabbit to run? The padded. to the padded to have the rabbit to run okay that padded toes now number c we have an octopus moves with its help the octopus as we move it said it moves with the tensile less okay it moves with this okay now holes on the bodies of insect what does the holes of body in insects called the holes of the body in the exit insects are called spiracles now the last one e we have reptiles that move does not have limbs the reptiles that does not have limbs is snakes snake does not have limbs okay Snake does not have limbs. Okay, so this is how we have completed the objective type questions of one, two, and three. True and false. Match the column and one word answer. Now let's do the subjective type questions. The subjective type questions. Okay now the subjective type questions we have okay the first question we have describe the limbs of a land animal okay so it is question number 4 okay it is saying describe the limbs of a land animal so i am writing the answer for you number a so land animals have two kinds of limbs two kinds of limb the front front 
and the front limbs front limbs which is called front limbs which is four limbs and the hind limbs limbs that is that is back limb so this is the answer for question number a now b how does whales and dolphin breathe it is saying how does the whale and dolphin breathe okay so the answer for b okay before that let's complete this little bit okay the animals use limbs to run walk swim or borrow lap etc this is the answer for a complete answer now b what was the question describe how whale and dolphin how whale and dolphin breathe whales and dolphins are water mammals they have lungs and they come to the surface come to the surface of water to in hell oxygen but exhale carbon oxide through through their nostril nostril called blow hole in the water so this is the answer for question b okay what will they come up with the help of their lungs and they come to the surface of the water in to inhale oxygen but they exhale carbon dioxide through their nostril called blow hole in the water <coughs> now c what we have question c snake do not have legs they ha then how they move okay so number c answer now i am writing number c answer a it was here now i am writing c okay snakes have scales and scales and plates on the under side of the body the body which which are attached to their ribs which acts like feet and ribs 
acts like legs and enable enable the snake enable the snake to move so this is the answer for question c so snake have scales and plates on the underside of their body which are attached to their ribs which acts like feet and ribs acts like legs and able the snakes to move now i'm erasing this and now i'm going to do question number <coughs> d now question number d it is saying how do insect breathe okay how does the insect breathe okay insects breathe through spirals the holes on their be body and So this is the answer for question number D. Okay, in six, I have explained you the bit breathe through the spherical which are holes on their body. Okay, so I'm raising question number C. Now I'll do the last question of the subjective type, and the last question we have is how is how is the breathing of a tadpole different from the breathing of the frog okay so the e answer is a tadpole breathes through its gills but frog breathes through its lungs on land but with poised skin at water okay so this is how the difference of breathing of tadpole and the frog is okay now the last one we have here is the multiple choice questions okay the multiple choice question number 5 okay multiple choice question number 5 okay so here tick the correct options it is saying tick the correct option now a i am reading question number a c here animals on land have dash type of limbs 2 3 4 or 6 there are four options so the animals on the land how many types of limbs they have they have Two. The answer is one. That is two. Okay. Now number B. The front limb of a land animals are called what type of? The front limb of a land animals are called gills, lungs, four limbs or fin. It is called four limbs. It is called four limbs. So the answer for B is three. Four limbs. Okay. Now, number C. The dash helps a fish in changing direction in water. What does helps the fish to change the direction in water? The options are given: a tail fin, gills, scales, or oxygen. So the direction of the fish is changed by its tail fin. Okay, it is changed by its tail fin. So number C, it is. that is in one now number d the bones of a bird are dash and hollow the bones of the birds are dash and hollow so what i have told the bones of the birds are dash and hollow they are light and hollow so the answer is light for question number d which is in option 2 okay then the last one 
a tadpole breathes through its dash a tadpole breathes through its how does the tadpole in the previous question tadpole breathes through its gills and the options here are given lung skin gills fin so it breathes through its gills which is in option 3 it is gills so these are the answer for question 5 the multiple choice questions okay and the last one now we have here from this chapter is question based on higher order thinking skill question based on higher order thinking skill okay so it is in six okay so six give reason for the followings it is saying give reason for the followings reptiles the first it is a that is reptiles crawl on land so we have to give the reason why they crawl on the land they crawl on their bellies on land to lay egg they what they do they why they crawl they crawl on their bellies on land to lay eggs to lay eggs now in B okay B it is saying snake snakes find it easy to move on rough ground snake find it easy to move on rough ground okay so the reason for that it is the snake the snakes have scales and plates okay so they can grip the rough grip the rough sir face well so why they can move in the rough surface because they have scales and plates so they have a grip on the rough surface so they can move well now the last one we have C the C it is saying humans are higher from of animals humans are higher forms of animals so the reason behind that human are higher form of animals because because they have the most developed brain most developed brain so so they can plan every steps of like to me they are known as social animals okay so this is the answer for C so we have completed the all the question answers from these chapters so this is the last one which we have done so so we have completed chapter 3 the movements and the breathing of animals with all the ex explanation and the question answers from the chapter thank you very much